on and against the the decaying Western society that we see. Please, somebody, if you're out there, I would love to have that conversation because I don't see any argument against Islam fixing the 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 downfall of society due to Western captivated by love that. Stanley thought maybe Islam's the answer. Really. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillahilladzi arsala rasulahu bil huda wa dinil haqq liyuzhinahu ala dini kulihi wa kafa billahi shahida ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la syarika lah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu la nabiyya ba'da berjumpa lagi dengan channel saya Mars Techno saya doakan semoga semua sahabat dalam keadaan sehat selalu pada video kali ini kami akan menampilkan alasan Mengapa banyak orang barat yang memutuskan untuk masuk Islam Dijelaskan sendiri oleh sahabat dari Mu'alaf Andrew Tates Nah sahabat kita saksikan saja video berikut ini How has being a Muslim you know shifted that for him? Well there's no drinking for one which I'm all for Alhamdulillah like I really mean that uh, yeah. Our man Tristan likes a drink, <laughs> and we're all very competitive as men. So, I mean, as you've seen from some of the footage, there was a lot of drinking. Andrew stopped drinking completely. No, not, not a no, completely. not a single drink, not a single drink, man. And I know I'm with him on the jets. I'm with him. You know, we travel together. Yeah. Not not a single drink, which I think is great. Now, but also anything he does, he wants to do it properly. He, uh, you know that that mindset of professionalism yeah. uh, and of commitment. So. Yeah. That I'd say that's the first big change. Um, secondly, he is a genuine, I, I think, a bit of an inner peace thing coming through, which I haven't seen before. He's a very driven man. There's a lot of you know focus to to conquer and to, and we can talk about that uh, more. I think his his reversion to Islam has brought more of an inner peace that, than I've seen in him before, yeah. which I think is is quite a beautiful thing. Wow. Wow, absolutely. And I think I think we can all say that we've seen it in his recent videos as well. You know, even the way he talks to people like Aiden Ross, you know, motivating them, even from an Islamic perspective, you know, kind of giving dawah to them in a way. It's a beautiful thing to see. Nice. I think, you know, being around Tate, they thought the redemption arc would be, all right, we're cancelled off social media. We're going to come back with an even bigger fame as a result and even more positivity to... to positively motivate you know the the, the uh, I, mostly the men of the world but now this is the redemption arc coming back from this and being even more famous and even more positively impactful that's that's the end state of this and also i know a lot of people are concerned about the tates they're okay man they're combat ready those guys are they're serious guys in terms of their situational awareness in terms of their mental fortitude in terms of their discipline Again, uh, as an Allah uh, Subhanahu wa Taala says, the, the you know He won't give you that which you can't deal with. The Tates can deal with a lot. <laughs> Trust me, they can deal mm. with a lot. This I put it. I put it to you know everybody. What the Tates are going through here. This isn't the most difficult thing they've dealt with. No way. No way. And they know who they are. They know what they have and haven't done. They know they're going to win. So now it's just patience. And that that's challenging though. Like Andrew especially, he's not a patient guy. <laughs> he doesn't like sitting around doing nothing. So let, let's hope that his time is spent, you know, studying the Quran. And bro, so, so who, who's yeah. tweeting the tweets from his account? I was going to ask uh, that. Yeah, yeah from I what know. I understand, there's a direct line of communication from Andrew uh, through a lawyer to whoever has control of that. Mm. So it is Andrew mm. from, from what I understand. He is... As I understand it, he's communicating every day to his team. Mashallah. Yeah. Have you been able to speak to him? No, I haven't. I, um, oh. I, I'd. At the end of the day, I think his his main focus is is the you know the legal challenge and all these sorts of things. So yes. I, I I heard a conversation he was on where I said to him, "Hey, brother, just let you know, I'm I'm praying in the in the masjid for you every day." He said, "Thank you," but beyond that, we haven't talked. No. But he's good, man. Like he's, that that is a disciplined, strong-minded dude. Mm. I wouldn't worry about him. And he's going to come out stronger than ever, more focused than ever, more aware of his duty to bring a positive 
message to the youth of, of today's world. Where I mean, who else is speaking about you know in in a masculine way, in a motivational way to the youth of today? Is there mm. anyone else really that can compete with Tate mm. and his powerful message? Despite what the media says, with all this negative press, the positive messages that he puts out, which is ninety plus percent of his content, who else really is is putting out a message that resonates so powerfully with the youth. So he will come out, he'll continue. If anything, he all of that old Tate will be gone forever. Gone. It was already gone. This is right, what people don't realize. Right. What they're bringing up is old content. Mm. So you're going to see a lot more focused, I believe, a lot more in touch with his faith, a lot more really driven to, to make the most of this influence. He has money. Uh, you know, there, there's, I don't think money will drive him anymore. I think it'll be how can I leave a positive legacy mm. on, on the world. So, if anything, the powers that be are just creating an even more focused Andrew, who's going to be even more clear on his positive messaging to the, the youth of the world. I think at the end of the day, it's all positive. Mm. He is going to come out a lot more impactful oh. and a lot more focused on his duty to use the influence he has to bring a positive impact on society. See, really if believe. we cut this part out, we cut this part out, but initially we planned to come here and do a podcast with Andrew Tate. Mm -hmm. And Alhamdulillah, now didn't work out yet. Mm -hmm. We'll wait, inshallah, until he's out. Mm -hmm. But we spent the whole day with Shooter and, you know, we went to the masjid and it, it doesn't it warm your heart, bro. As soon as we walk in there, we see all these brothers and mm. some of them are coming from construction. Some of them are coming from this field, that field. But you go to any of them and you offer them all the money in the world to denounce their faith. They're not mm. going to do it. I wouldn't. That, that's, that's, it. That's, that's discipline. And that's what's lacking in Western society right there. <laughs> it's Again, I would love, I mean, look, I don't consider myself to be a debater. But I would love anyone to try and debate the fact that Islam is not the only solution against shaitan and against mm -hmm. the the decaying Western society that we see. Please, somebody, if you're out there, I would love to have that conversation. Because I don't see any argument against Islam fixing the, the, the downfall of society due to Western modernity and liberalism. Masya Allah, sebuah video yang sangat inspiratif, sebuah video podcast bersama sahabat dari Andrew Tips. Beliau menjelaskan beberapa alasan kebanyakan orang barat yang beragama Kristen memutuskan untuk menjadi mu'alaf atau masuk Islam. Di awal video, beliau menjelaskan bahwa dia menyaksikan sendiri bahwa sejak menjadi muslim, Andrew Tate tidak pernah menyentuh alkohol karena beliau orang yang sangat komitmen. Dia sering berpergian naik jet bersama saya dan tidak ada satu botol pun minuman keras di sana. Ini adalah perubahan besar yang dimiliki oleh Andrew Tate. Menurutnya, masuknya beliau kepada Islam membuat hatinya lebih damai dan batinnya lebih damai lagi. Itulah yang saya lihat dari Andrew Tate. Ini adalah hal yang indah menurutnya. Ketika Andrew Tate berbincang dengan Eden Ross pun, beliau memotivasinya dengan sudut pandang Islam. Video ini tampaknya dibuat pada saat Andrew Tate sedang dalam penjara. Sehingga sahabatnya tersebut mendoakannya Dan bahkan ia yakin saat di penjara Kemungkinan Andrew Tate tidak akan duduk-duduk saja Tapi dia akan menghabiskan waktu dengan membaca Al-Quran Menurutnya juga Islam adalah satu-satunya solusi untuk memperbaiki masyarakat barat saat ini Yang sedang membusuk dan juga liberalisme 
Nah sahabat mungkin itu saja sedikit video reaksi dari saya Mudah-mudahan bermanfaat Wabilai taufiq wal hidayah Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh